cliffhanger. Can't wait to get the next issue. Mm. And okay. nowadays, you have characters standing around talking. <laughs> all <No. issue. laughs> I mean, you know, a couple of years ago, which epitomizes, you know, why I stopped collecting uh, new comics. It had this um, this uh, cover of Superman that was drawn by one of my favorite artists, John Romita Jr. Mm -hmm. And Superman's knuckles were skinned. His costume was ripped. Um, you know, his he had a fat lip, black eye. And I bought the book right away. Got home, not a single fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, See, these comic books are like now five dollars. Now you're laughing, but I got to tell you that when I was a kid, they were twenty five cents. Mm -hmm. So if you if you wasted twenty five cents, it's like, eh, who cares? Yeah. But now it's five dollars. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of money for something like that. Yeah. I was just like, nah, that's not working for me. So, so I mean, yeah, but, you know, I, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, but um, I mean, but don't you think that some retcons are needed in today's day? Because to keep the stories updated, keep the characters updated, um, like with what they just did with um, Mo Moira McTaggart by making her a mutant, you know, they had to retcon a couple of things. Um, but so like, don't you think that some retcons <clears throat> are okay in comic books? Some. But which ones and mm -hmm. and who gets to make that decision? You know, like, OK, so one retcon is that if a character become if a villain becomes too popular, then they have to make that villain a hero. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Now there's a dearth of good villains. You know, why do that? I, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't understand that. Moira didn't need to be a mutant. She was already a scientist with a mutant son. That was close enough. But you don't have to make her a mutant from the juggernaut. He was mm -hmm. already Professor Xavier's um, a half brother. You don't need to make him a mutant. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Even how he was. You know, so some of these things. Uh, and here's the other thing, too. A lot of these retcons are created by people who never read comics growing up.